Hello everyone. I welcome the students, researchers, scholars, and scientists all over the world. This is Advanced Multiple YouTube channel. Advanced Multiple Incorporation actually a knowledge processing and information management organization that is located in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. My name is Dr. Taha Nazir and I am working as scientific executive with Intellectual Consortium of Drug Discovery and Technology Development Incorporation. Okay, well, today I'm going to share my knowledge, my experience, and my research under the title of Introduction, Function, and Mechanism of Viral Enzymes. We know that the viruses are the smallest living creature on the earth. And we can say that it is one of the most dangerous, more fatal, and more, more mortal living creature in this universe. And if I say that, uh, like the viruses, uh, uh, Sometimes they become the living things, sometimes they become the non-living things. So the scientists are still confused. We call them as, as organism, as living thing, or we, we just call them as living object. It, it don't have any structure, like a defin, uh, definite structure. They don't have cell wall, they don't have cell membrane, don't have mitochondria, don't, don't have cytoplasm. So because of its structure, we are sometimes confused to call them as organism or just call them as living object. Okay, well, it is one of the most dangerous and mortal organism. Why? Because we don't have treatment against this uh, mortal living creature and we have seen the trial recently COVID-19 one of the big challenge for the scientists all over the world we have uh, designed and developed the vaccine against uh, COVID-19 uh, there are different different pharmaceutical companies and research institutions involved to design and develop the vaccine against this uh, mortal disease COVID-19 in shortest possible time in uh, human history we don't have, we don't still have the treatment. We don't have the rational treatment against the COVID-19. However, we just only adopt the precautionary measures against these uh, viruses. So this is one of the example. How big challenge? How how dangerous this uh, living creature? How can it uh, produce potential challenge for the mankind uh, all over the world? So it is not only COVID-19, there are a lot of the other viral strains. We don't have their treatment. We just only provide the symptomatic uh, empirical therapy. We just provide the supportive therapy. We don't have any definite rational therapy to cure and treat so many different kinds of the viral diseases. We only uh, sometimes make the vaccines, but vaccine is possible to produce uh, uh, against the DNA viruses and the viruses having their definite structure, stable composition, but the viruses could change their uh, like shape, change their biochemistry, change their like DNA or RNA all the time. It's not possible to produce the vaccine against the, such kind of the viruses. So we have to adopt some precautionary measure and that's it. Okay, well, for, for this purpose, for making the presentation today, I have collected the information and scientific data from different sources like PubMed, Medline, Scopus, Google Scholar, National Library of Medicine, MBAS, Directory of Open Access Journal, ProQuist, CNKI, that is China based database company, provide the scientific research information all over the world, stand for China National Knowledge in Infrastructure, some of the information collected from Crossref and ResearchGate. Okay, well, before moving forward, I would like to talk a little bit about the introduction of the enzymes or the viral enzyme. Enzymes are biocatalysts produced by living cells, bring about specific biochemical reactions, generally forming post of metabolic process of the cell. All enzymes which have been purified are protein in nature and may or may not possess a non-protein prosthetic group. Enzymes are highly specific in their action on substrate and often many different enzymes are required to bring about by concerted action and the sequence of metabolic reaction performed by living cells. So there are the nine different kinds of uh, viral enzymes. Obviously, there are also some other viral enzymes too, but uh, I have selected today only the nine viral enzymes to just only highlight or make this discussion hopefully conclusive. Viral protease, reverse transcriptase, integrase, viral DNA polymerase, viral RNA polymerase, 
heme agglutinin esterase then uh, retroviral integrase lysine endolysine and murine hydrolase then the viral neuroamide aminidase so these are the nine uh, different enzymes they perform different role in the viral life so now we are going to discuss uh, or the talk one by one all these uh, nine different kind of the enzymes first one is the viral protease that convert the immature virion into the mature virus through the cleavage or the breaking of the precursor polypeptide it is essential for the viral replication viral reproduction second enzyme is the reverse transcriptase responsible for conversion of the single strand genomic rna into the double stranded uh, dna poroviral dna and essential for the replication okay the third one is integrase integrase is also called as retroviral in integrase because this virus is, is most of the time produced by the retroviral cpc of the viruses uh, the most popular example of retrovirus is hiv the human immunodeficiency virus that insert the proviral dna into the host cell genomic or genome all, all of them are important target for the therapeutic intervention essential for replication because if we disintegrate or if you stop the func function of the enzyme it means you have stopped the life of the viruses and uh, in this way we can kill we can control the growth of the viruses and uh, uh, successfully treat the infection induced by the uh, viral strain okay the, the fourth one is the viral dna polymerase that convert the dna into the rna then the viral rna polymerase that convert the rna into the dna we know that uh, viruses are two main type DNA viruses and RNA viruses. The DNA viruses are able to produce the messenger RNA, and uh, uh, RNA viruses they are unable to produce the RNA RNA uh, uh, messenger RNA. If they are unable to produce messenger RNA, it means they are unable to produce the protein required for their life, required for the for their structure and metabolism, reproduction and replication. So, some of the viruses like RNA viruses, they themselves work as messenger RNA, they go through the liposome, produce the desired protein. But some of the viruses are uh, converted into the DNA, like messenger RNA is converted into the DNA and then DNA produce the messenger RNA to produce the desired proteins. And after synthesis of the messenger RNA, they then again convert it into the, their original structure or original uh, bio biochemical format that is R RNA. So RNA can be, RNA viruses are convertible into the DNA, and the DNA viruses not all. Some of the DNA viruses are able to convert themselves into the RNA. Okay, well, the sixth virus enzyme is the heme agglutinin esterase. is a protein of the envelope of some viruses. Its function is related with the pathogenicity and infection with the host. It may help the virus bind and enter the mucous membrane of the intestinal wall. Seventh one is the lysine, endolysine, and murine hydro hydrolysis. And the, these are hydrolytic enzymes produced by the bacteriophage. Bacteriophage are the, are the viruses that produce infection in the bacteria. In order to cleave the host cell, host cell wall during the final step of the lytic cycle, these enzymes are being used as antibacterial agent due to their high effectiveness and specificity in comparison with the antibody which are susceptible to bacterial resistance. The eighth and final enzyme is the viral neuroaminidase. It's a type of the neuroaminidase found on the surface of influenza virus that enables the virus to be released from the host cell Neuroaminidase are the en enzyme that cleave sialic acid group from glycoprotein and are required for influenza virus replication. Okay, well, now I would like to talk a little bit about the single multiple attack mechanism of viral enzyme. Viral enzyme actually attack by two ways. It may be the single or one-time attack or it may be the mul multiple attack. Basically, it... Uh, it is the mechanism of action regarding the attack and it has two recommendations or two suggestions, a single attack action in which the polymerase, 
polymer molecule is successfully hydrolyzed completely before dissociation of the enzyme substrate complex. The second one is the mul multiple attack or multi-attack action in which only the one bond is hydrolyzed for effective encounter. The multiple attack action is an intermediate uh, between the single chain and multi-chain action where the enzyme cleaves several bonds successfully after the first random hydrolytic attack before dissociating from the substrate. So, well, in conclusion, the viral enzyme used in the research, medicine, and the chemical industry or chemical reactions. The catalytic reaction are used in biocalysis and other specific application that may potentially enhance the scientific contribution to a better knowledge of the field and encourage researchers to promote interest in viral enzyme. Therefore, the valuable contribution for their constructive evaluation are appreciated or should be appreciated. Uh, before leaving, I would like to uh, acknowledge and uh, salute it and greet to my colleague, Sherry Bachkert, Wolf Gang Dang, uh, then uh, Daniel, Dustin Parker, Marwa al Magarbi, then uh, Robert Heman, Amin, Arslan, Ishtiaq, Kunza, Nureen, Shahad, and uh, Thiri Min. They are my people. They helped me a lot to make this project successful today. I also acknowledge the kind help and support of Advanced Medical Incorporation and Intellectual Consortium of Drug Discovery and Technology Development. They helped me a lot to make these videos uh, today. Uh, now, I appreciate uh, you for watching the video and staying with me and uh, spending a beautiful time. I hope I shall see you soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.